Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this game three of the playoffs on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Houston Rockets going up against the Seattle Supersonics. Here with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello, I'm Kevin Harlan. And getting the inside reporting from the sideline, it's David Aldridge. Goes to Houston. Here's Level. Here's Reed. Nice touch on the back shot. Reed's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for the Rockets. The pass to Chambers. Back to Williams. Brown outside. Elbow shot is on the way. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Such an accomplished scorer. Brown is a master at taking what the defense gives up. Passes to McCray. To the left wing. Tries from 16. And that one goes long. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Here's the lob to the hoop. Freddie with great vision there. Easily found the open man. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Pass to McCray. Here's Lovell. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Lovell. McCray passes to Reed. Five on the clock. Here's Walker. And good. That thing was that time as it falls. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by McCray. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Reed with it. Browns there. Reed misses. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he has the space and is capable of making it. This is his first free throw of the game. And that one falls for Williams. Gus Williams, so slick, particularly in the pick and roll. He can slice and dice up a defense with scoring or clever passing. Both shots good from the strike. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. Bubble passes to McCray. Here's Sampson. Makes it off the glass. And Sampson, seven foot four, versatile, mobile. Good luck trying to stop him inside. He's too tall, too long. Outside Williams. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Here's Lovell. Outside, Walker. Austin Sampson. <laughs> Now, here's Reed. He's guarded close. Houston moving it around. 
Six to shoot. Here's Lovell. Hands the shot with nobody near him. Excellent vision on display. Dropping a dime to set up his teammate. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Seattle. Shoots over Reed. Here's Chambers. And he goes in for the dunk. Boy, at six foot ten, dunking comes easy to Chambers, but he does it with a little flair once he's near the rim. He's ready to punch it home with flavor. Bubble passes to Sampson. Over Sigma. Misses off the left iron. Poor Seattle had gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. They set the pick. Now here's Williams. He's guarded closely. Here's Brown. It's not going to go for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. They are still stinging from the loss on Thursday. Well, you talk about one you want back. They left a lot of points at the line. And you think about how big a difference all those three points would have made. Definitely one they regret. Boy, what a slick move that time. Made the defense look absolutely clueless. Now here's Williams. Not a lot of room. That one drops for him. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. The Supersonics shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. Trail by three. Here's Lovell. McCray passes to Sampson. Outside, Walker. The pass to level. Down to five on the shot clock. Passes it to Walker. Puts up a three. Rebound by the Sonics. And here is Williams. He has seven. Locks up the alley oop pass. Stolen away. Nice shot to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Right side to Walker. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. The defense was certainly a little tardy in reacting to the step back there. Now here's Williams. Guarded closer to the inside. Sigma, the kick out to Williams. Thompson looking for an opening. Shot clock at six. The step back jumper is good. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. Rockets trail by three. Here's Lovell. Over Williams. Here's McCray. Up and in with the jumper near the hoop. Look at that work rate. Given the second effort to get the score off the miss. Outside Williams. Brown outside. Pass to Chambers. Outside Williams. A 15-footer. Doesn't go for him. Tried to lean his body to create space, but that also increased the degree of difficulty. Here's Walker. Banked in off the glass. Walker's got six. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Seattle calls timeout.
And the Supersonics making a change here. Haas is checked in. Sigma. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Williams finds Brown. Five to shoot. Shoots over Reed. The Sonics again can't hit. Houston in the lead. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. I think that's on the defense there. I mean, you just can't let him bully you inside like that. you got to hold your ground. Yeah, that kind of effort would get you bent show more energy and a willingness to stop them down low. Boy, defensively, that's great anticipation. Moving his feet and drawing the whistle. Unafraid to put his body on the line. So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. Timeout call. The Rockets. Livingston passes to Teagle. Livingston with it. Driving the lane. From seven, a shot's good from Hayes. Well, you got to do your work early. You can't allow him to set up there. Yeah, there has to be more effort on the defensive end. Don't allow him to gain position. Here's Sunbold over Hayes. Will it go? And Hayes throws it down. Ooh, 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 I like that. The reverse jam. Oh, yeah. Look at the camera flashes popping up. Nicely done. Livingston passes to Teagle. Here's Hayes. They get it again. Jones, no luck. Sonic's trail by three. Unfold the pass to Hayes. Shoots. Here's Hawes, and Jones pulls it down, and it's Jones with the ball for Houston, and he dunks it down. 
My goodness, taking the chance to add a little extra spice with that throwdown. <laughs> yeah, just another message to the defense that they are in control of this one. I think the message is received. The defense knows these guys are making them look powerless. So it's the Supersonics now. The Rockets making the shot. On goal, the pass to Hayes. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Houston leading by three. Now here's Livingston. To the middle. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The big E showed us why he's the poster child for the power forward position. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Hayes, no good on the free throw. Well, you know, his reputation is as a productive offensive player, but Elvin Hayes has great ability on the glass as well. He gets it done at both ends. Here's Teagle. No good on that one. And it's Seattle the other way. Here's McCray. He's covered by Livingston. Sunbold still looking for his first bucket in this one. It's stolen. Hayes trying to break through. And once again off the mark by Seattle. They got a great look. Close in. Sometimes the ball just doesn't go through the hoop. Teagle the pass to Livingston. And there's the feed to Hayes. Nifty move. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got his third assist on the night. Oh, and they need a basket in the worst way. I think they're forcing things right now, and it's why their offense looks so pedestrian. Pass to Livingston. Hayes trying to break free. It's good. And now it's a nine-point rocket lead. Let's credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. They set the pick. Here's Sunbolt. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Slick move. Coming off the pick and going straight to the hoop. 105 left in the first quarter of the game. Next trail by seven. Here's McCray. No points in the game yet for him. A shot by Sunville. No good. Rocket shooting an outstanding 61% in the early going. Elo. Seattle grabs the miss. 32 seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And you can see he was set right there in good legal guarding position. That's a nice job. And his teammates appreciate him sacrificing his body. Just a gritty defensive play. Richmond, he's checked in for the Sonics. Longley comes in for Davis. And uh, Seattle shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Now, here's Longley. He's covered by Livingston. Tries again. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Sonics have gone three for three at the line tonight. One falls for him. The 
free throws good from Longley. 15 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Teagle. Here's Nevitt. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The Rockets on top, leading by five. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. We're back with you, all set to bring you more action from Game 3. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Pounded inside as much as possible was obviously the game plan. The defense hasn't had an answer, so that's why they just keep going back to this. Sonic's trail by five. Now long left. Passes it to Chambers. And the layup's good off the glass. Chambers got six. I think the defense gave him a bit of a gift there. I mean, he got all the space he needed to go to work. Here's Lovell. The pass to Nevin. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Nevitt's got his first basket of the night. This is the creativity he brings to this offense. Fantastic at involving his teammates with his passing. Count that one. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Here's Lovell. Covered by Long. Goes up to the stripe. Level. That's good. hubble has got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, I like the opportunistic attitude right there, as well as the aggressive finish inside. Here's Sunbold. Longley passes to Sigma. The putback. It's good on the putback. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with it. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Here's Nevin. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, I think that was a message-sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. Yeah, as a coach, I like that one. Make them earn it at the line. Shoot two. He misses the free throw. Houston making some changes. Samson's checked in. And it's Reed in for Teagle. Then for the Supersonics, Thompson, he's checked in for Richmond. And it's Brown in for Longley. He's off on the second. Sonics trail by three. Here's Sunbold. Pass to Chambers. Free throw line jump shot. Reed with the rebound. Here's Lovell. He's covered by Brown. And he throws it down hard with one hand. That's one way to build this lead. Yep, showtime Clark in a real important hoop. You want to extend that lead. Pass to Chambers. Too long on the shot. You don't get a lot of those chances. He's going to want that shot back. Right side to Walker. Passes it to Level. Here's Sampson. The pass to Level. Just five on the clock. They set the pick. Here's Nevitt. Defended by Chambers. That one goes. Count it. Nice pass creating the opportunity. Great teamwork on that one. Here's Sunbold. Here's Brown. Samson pulls it in. McCray is checked in for the Rockets. And a change for the Sonics. 
Williams is checked in. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Rockets. Bubble passes to Sampson. Fades. And it's Seattle with the rebound. It's Williams, high post. He has seven. Here's Brown. 11 feet out and he hits it. Nice work from Brown inside. Like whenever he mixes it up like this. It doesn't happen often. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Sampson, the pass to level. Pass to Reed. Here's level. From deep, Walker. It's hauled in by Brown. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Off target from the wing. Houston leading by five. Here's level. And here's Reed. Shoots over Brown. The Rockets with another miss. Couldn't convert the bunny. That one was right there for him. Thompson finds William. Pass to Chambers. Here's Thompson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, David Thompson is used to getting fouled on the way up, the way this guy bounces. Embraces every opportunity he can to get to the strike. For Seattle, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5 of 5 in that department. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Thompson, so aggressive as a scorer. He's a go-to guy for this team. And the Rockets making a change here. Hayes is checked in. He hits the second from the line. Rockets leading by four. Here's level. It's deflected. I want to see more blocks from Sickman given his huge size and excellent timing. To the paint. And Thompson throws it down. The chemistry so obvious on these alley oops. Fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, Clark, bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. Here's Simpson. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Good recognition. You have the mismatch, go to work. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Sonic's making a switch here. Hawes is checked in. At the line for one. What's up? You know, Samson, an imposing physical presence. So long, 7'4", a towering big man who, who I think is as versatile a big man as I've ever seen. Scores, rebounds, defends very well. Very impressive. Now here's Williams. And it's blocked. Here's Lovell. Over Williams. Another miss by Houston. Down low, Chambers, power down with both hands. No room for error there because he threw it down with both hands. Pretty smart, yeah, with the score this close, you can't afford any mistakes. Boy, a miss slam would have been deflating. Nice to see him finish it off. Here's Lovell. The Sonics getting the bucket. Here's Reed. Seattle grabs the miss. Sigma's got six rebounds now in the game. Williams looking around. 
Hawes, the pass to Chambers. Rob. It's three on three on the fast break. The shot's good from Hayes. Hayes has got eight. And it's energy like that on both ends of the floor that's got them out ahead. Outside, Williams. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, there are occasions when contact doesn't affect the shot. That sure did. Easy call for the refs. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Jones checked in for the Rockets. The Sonics also changing it up. Light comes in for Chambers. Davis is subbed in for Brown. And the second free throw, good. Rockets leading by four. Here's level. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Outside Williams. Gets Davis on the wing. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. Now here's Reed. He's guarded by Davis. Hayes the pass to level. There's the pick over Williams. They get it back. Nice job to guide that miss back in with a deft little touch. And what about the timing clock? He showed to be right where he needed to be at the right time. That's a lot harder than he made it look. Great tip. Now here's Williams. He's got eight. Right down low. Here's Sigma. Headshot off. So Houston will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Jones. It's hauled in by Sigma. Sigma's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Outside Williams. Davis in the corner. Pass to Sigma. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. That's as easy as it gets for Sigma. He looks to dunk it whenever he gets this close. Bubble passes to Hayes. The jump hook. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. Able to punch it inside. Nice execution offensively. Davis up top. Guarded by Reed. Outside, Davis. Stolen by Reed. Here's Lovell. He's guarded by Williams. Spins. Here's Hayes. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. You've got to love the energy Hayes is bringing to his game tonight. Just go off on the offensive end. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. For Seattle, they have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. Jack Sigmund taking two shots. Shooting two. And he makes the first. From a very small college, Sickle was drafted eighth overall. And at the time, that surprised some people. But he's been tremendous. McCray's checked in for Seattle. Longley comes in for Williams. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. 
English passes to Teagle, and he makes good on the layup. Love the communication. He knew just when and where to send the hot pass. It's trail by six. Only with it. Here's the pass to Davis. It's White on the wing. Six on the shot clock. They set the screen over England. Here's Sigma. Second chance effort, and the shot goes down. Sigma's got a second bucket tonight. Sigma putting his skills as a rebounder to good use there. Coming up with the second chance opportunity. Elo the pass to Teagle. That shot misses. White with the defensive effort. He kicks to Davis. Pass to Long. 17-foot shot on the way. Does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. Here's Elo. I love how active and engaged Elo is on offense. It's how he gets defenders to overcommit. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. You have to admire Elo's skill as a shooter. I'm sure it took a lot of hard work and practice to get his efficiency to be this good. And he sinks the second. Here's Longer. 151 left in the first half. It's deflected. Now here's Elo. To the left side wing. Here's Nevitt. Covered by Hayes. There's the screen. Here's English. The jumper from the free throw line is good. English has got his first points in this one. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Unloads from 13, and he gets the jumper to drop. The defense getting hung up on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. English on the wing. To the middle. Hayes with the steal. Here's Richmond. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Houston leading by three. English outside. And it's Seattle with the rebound. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the half. Pass to Sunbold. Seventeen seconds left to play in the first half. Longley can't get it to go. Now Elo. The three, and that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Rockets lead by three. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Trail by three. Williams up on top. Here's Chambers. Reed with the rebound. And for Houston, they're shooting at 52% from the field. They're clicking. Out to the right wing. 
Here's Lovell, and it's good off the glass. Lovell's got his third basket of the night. Just straight tricking the defender with the shot fake. This is how it's done. And he lobs it up for the rim, hammers the alley through. The chemistry is so obvious on these alley oops. Fantastic sequence there. Plays like that, Clark, bring a team closer together. For sure. Yeah, I like when guys take initiative and go after chances like this. Driving to the basket. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bubbles got eight points. Perfect time to kick the ball out. He read the defense and trusted his instincts. Williams passes to Brock. Floats one up. Chambers can't make the basket. Houston leading by five. Here's Lovell. Eight points for him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Rockets shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Shooting for Houston. At the line for two. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Seattle Supersonics. They trail by seven. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Here's Chambers. Out to Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Walker. Off the left rim and up. Rockets leading by seven. Here's Lovell. Another shot. He lays it in. Love the hustle there. Extending the possession, just generating offense. For Seattle, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming up Milwaukee with the break. Now here's Williams. He's got eight. This is it to Chambers. Brown the pass to Williams. Back to Brown. Five on the clock. Here's Chambers. The Rockets pull it in. McCray has got six rebounds here tonight. And there's the pass to Revel. Here's Sampson. Over Sigma. Sampson's shot is off. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Williams passes to Sigma. Here's Chambers. To end the drought. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Superb second effort. Yeah, stayed right with it. He's always working on the offensive glass. Here's Sampson. He's got 11. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. That's a quality shot right there. It just didn't fall for him. Hey, they don't all end in scores. Great execution, and they're happy that they had that kind of a chance. Pass to Chambers. Oh, that's blocked. And they get it back. There's Williams. Offensive rebound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Tom Chambers is really efficient as a scorer. Excellent in the post. And also possesses a reliable jump shot. The Sonics have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. First free throw is good.
Chambers hits them both. And he's been locked in from the line, proving he's someone that you don't want to foul. Here's Lovell. He's guarded by Williams. McCray passes to Reed. And some nice passing there by Houston. Houston needs to get a shot. Here's Lovell. The Rockets with another miss. Celtics trail by five. He lobs it up. Way to set up the alley-oop. Oh, the catch and flush. If they can come all the way back, we'll remember that one. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. He's checked in for Walker. And Seattle also making a change. Hawes is checked in. Rockets leading by three. Here's Lovell. Eight points for him. Here's Sampson. Good on the shot. Sampson's got four this quarter. Great job of recognizing the size mismatch and going up strong. And here is Hawks. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Sigma. Got a hand on it. Here's McCray. Headed by Hawks. McCray passes to level. Here's Simpson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Houston. Two shots. Free throw missing. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Sonic's trail by five. Right side, Williams. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's McCray, headed by Hawks. Pass to level. 
Out left to the wing. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away free points at the line. For the Sonics, White is checked in for Brown and Longley subbed in for Williams. Houston moving it around. Read the pass to McCray. Five to shoot. At the top of the key, Reed. Rebounded by Chambers. Chambers got rebound number eight now on the night. Passes it to Sigma. Good. Nice job down low. Sigma's got four points in the quarter. You can tell he scanned the whole floor and found the exact right guy to feed. Livingston passes to Sampson. Over Sigma. No good that time. Seattle goes the other way with it. Right looking around. Outside, Longley. The pass to Hawes. Outside, White. A floater. Chambers. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Tremendous hustle, working hard for that bucket. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the Rockets making a change here. Elvin Hayes. Alan Level. Here's Level. Eight points for him. Outside, Jones. Here's Hayes. Up and in on the way. Hayes has got 14 points. We've seen the Big E do this forever. Dominant inside. Using that size to create second chance opportunity. Long lead passes to White. Outside, Long lead. Let's it go from 14. The defense willing to concede the mid-range as the lesser of evils. It paid off there. And out of bounds as the Sonics gain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Boy, you got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on this block. Continue. He's checked in for Houston. Elo comes in for Reed. And here are the Supersonics now. It's a three-point game. To the inside, Sigma. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Sigma's got six here in this quarter. When Sigma ends up getting that look, it's a great possession for this team. Here's Lovell. Seattle grabs the miss. Hawes got his fourth rebound in this one. Longley down low. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Longley's got his second basket. 
Can't afford to leave him open for mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. Here's Lovell. He's got eight. Elo outside. Teagle the pass to Lovell. Pass to Jones. For Hawes. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. What hustle on the offensive glass. Finding ways to capitalize. Paying off that hard work. Here's Sunbold. Elo covering. Outside, Longley. Pass to Sunbold. Seattle needs to get off the shot. They grab their own miss. Houston in the lead. Elo outside. Passes it to Jones. Over to the wing. Here's Lovell. Covered by Long. And it's Lovell missing. Well, that's another low percentage shot. He's been settling throughout this game for those kinds of shots. John Bold the pass to Long. Kicks it to Hawks. They get a hand on it. Long way up top. He's got six. Here's Sigma. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Keeping his balance despite the obvious contact. Sigma is terrific at powering through physical defense. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Hayes, he's checked in for the Sonics. Richmond comes in for Long. The Rockets trail. Here's Lovell. He's got eight. Looking to end his cold spell. And they pick up two. Lovell's got ten. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Locked and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Here's Sunbold. Elo covering. Back to Richmond. Just four to shoot. No one covered. Richmond's got his second basket of the night. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. Here's the pass to Teagle. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Nevitz got the game tied up here for the Rockets. Great activity level on the boards. Impressive. Wow. Pass to Sigma. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep. This is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Here's Lovell. Ten points for him. Shoots from 12. It's hauled in by Sigma. And uh, Seattle's shooting well. They're at 45%. Pass to Sunbold. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Sunbold's got the lead up to four now for the Sonics. That's an excellent move inside, keeping pace here. And another great look at the 2K drive. And a close game, you got to find the edge. High energy plays like that one can make a big difference. Richmond against Elo. Here's Lovell. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lovell's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, that time he got the defense off balance with the well-timed pump fake. Nice work. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the third. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Typically, you're okay foul in the center, but not Jack Sigma. He's an excellent free throw shooter. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
And he can't get the first one. So both teams making some changes here. Good on the second free throw. 29 seconds left in the third. Outside, English. Seventeen seconds left to play in the third. Houston moving it around. No good off the back of the rim. Not a bad look, just didn't fall. Here's Richmond, and he banks in the layup. Richmond's got his third bucket of the night. The coaches love seeing shots from there at the rim. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The Sonics on top. They're up by five. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Our round one coverage continues. Passes to Hayes. Here's Sampson. Over Sigma. Sampson's shot is off. Here's Chambers. Outside Williams. Outside Brown. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Teagle. The pass to Sampson. Over Sigma. That's good, and the supersonic lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Sampson. The offense working as intended right there, creating a great look at the basket. Brown dishes to Williams. Brown feeling out a bit. the wing Williams trying to get open is Thompson he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points with exceptional fundamentals exquisite footwork and a jumper that cannot be blocked Sigma can score in a variety of ways Teagle the pass to Sampson over Sigma that's good and the supersonic lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Sampson boy got a pretty good look at it and makes the most of it well, I put that one on the defense. They can't be leaving him open at this stage. Now here's Williams on the high post. It's rebounded by Houston. Hayes has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Walker, and Thompson sends it back. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Tries from ten. Williams can't hit. You know, you got a feel for him. He just cannot seem to buy a bucket here. Yeah, but he has to stop shooting. He's really hurting his team. Pass to Reed. Here's Sampson. Offensive rebound. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Super The first one falls. Both good from the line that time. 
Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. It's Williams high post. The kick out to Brown from the arc. And no good that time. And Houston the other way now. Here's Lovell. Inside. Sampson, the pass to Hayes. Sampson, it's good on the putback. And the Rockets lead by one. Neither team able to build a lead and sustain it, Mark. And you know what, Kevin, after six lead changes, it feels to me like it could come down to one big play. Now here's Thompson. Williams finds Brown. Rocket six. Back to Thompson. Shoots over Walker. That one a little long. For Houston, they've gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Good D by Thompson. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Supersonics. They trail by one. Williams passes to Chambers. Dishes it to Thompson. They could use a bucket. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Slipping past the contact there. Thompson does a nice job on his way into the shot. What's up? And for Houston, they're shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Timeout call for Rockets. Yeah, there's something not quite right with him. Have to use that timeout and get him some medical attention. Sonic's making a switch here. Hawes has checked in. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. Well, the Rockets coach had some words for his team during the timeout. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Lovell. He kicks it to Hayes. To the inside. Stolen. Now Hawks. Samson pulls it in. Samson's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Walker the pass to Revel. Pass to Reed. Here's Samson. Over Sigma. 
Samson's shot, good. Samson's got 23. Boy, is that a big bucket, putting the offense on his shoulders there. Outside Williams, passes it to Chambers, over Hayes. The Sonics again can't hit. The Rockets have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Here's Lovell. Pause with the rebound. Hawes got rebound number five here tonight. Kicks to Williams. And the basketball. To the middle. Here's Sigma. It's deflected. Reed with it. Crowns there. Offensive rebound. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. And the Rockets making a change here. McCray's checked in. And so here is Houston. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Here's Sampson. And he gets the bucket. Sampson's got 16 here in the second half. Here's Williams. Pass to Sigma. It's Brown. Shoots over Reed and misses it off the right side of the rim. The defense knows he likes the mid-range looks. So they made that as difficult for him as possible. Hey. Second chance shot. And it's good on the way in. And the Rockets lead by four. The muscle from Hayes. Remarkable at absorbing contact and working through. Over in the corner, Brown. Timeout called here. The Supersonics decide to talk it over. Got to halt this run now. Right here, right now. And maybe devise a new strategy here. Also a chance for his guys to take some deep breaths and renew their defensive focus. Chambers kicks to Hawes. Nice ball movement by Seattle. There's Williams. Rockets with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And there's the drive. And it's level missing. Sonics trail by four. To end the cold streak. And it's Williams laying it in. 
And this is how you capitalize down the stretch. I mean, the coaching staff has got to be pleased with that. And the game isn't over yet, but that was huge. Let's see if they're able to close it out. Pass to Sanson. Now Reed shoots over Brown, and right through it goes. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharing, being a great teammate. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Seattle calls timeout. Walker's checked in for Houston. Here's Sunbold. Passes it to Chambers. Here is Zipron. Pause inside, guarded by Walker. Sigma. Oh, and he parks it off the glass. Wow. Walker with it. The pass to Reed. Here's Lovell. Looking to get back on track here. He gets hauled in by Sigma. Sigma's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Stolen by Walker. Here's McCray over Hawes. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Houston. Brian McCray taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Sunbold. Coach, a tough stretch for this offense. I'd say they need to get back to what they do best. Right now, that's a question mark. A big question mark. Not sure I agree with the choice of going to the fadeaway there. Overly complicating what was already a good look. Bubble passes to Samson. Here's Lovell. 
Houston moving it around. Pass to Reed. Six to shoot. Here's Lovell. He's covered by Brown. And it's Lovell missing. Sonics trail by four. Pass to Sunbolt. In for Chambers with a screen on Walker. They get the rebound. Sigma the pass to Thompson. Eyes yet again. It's blocked. And they'll keep possession. Pass to Sigma. Again with the block. Down low. Boom. He chans it straight down. You know, we can't measure Hart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset is incredible. Seattle calls timeout. Trail by six. They need to find a high percentage shot, Clark, to regain some of that confidence. I think they've gone too long without seeing one go down, and that begins to mess with your psyche. Now here's Thompson. Walker with some nice D. Just unable to get into any kind of rhythm this quarter. And that's the way it goes sometimes. But his team is doing what they can to try and get him going. Here's Sampson. To the wing on the left. Read the pass to Walker. And it's good from the elbow. And it's an eight-point rocket lead. Time called here. The Sonics decide to talk it over.
Sonics trail by eight. Thompson outside. Tries the spin move. It's blocked. Now here's Walker. There's 154 left in the fourth. Here's Rubble. Six on the shot clock. Now the pass to Reed. Here's Rubble. Reed kicks to Walker. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Pass to Thompson. Twenty-two left in the fourth quarter of this one. Offensively, he just seems to be out of gas in this half. I'm not sure what he needs to get his shooting on track. Level, that's good. Well, it's really hard to come back if you can't get stops. You've got to figure out a way to stop the bleeding if you're going to come back. And he looked very comfortable on that one. Not a lot of resistance. Now, here's Thompson. A high post shot and right on target. Good. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bubble passes to Sampson. Open and close and nails it. Sampson's got the lead back up to 10 now for the Rockets. What a way for them to finish the game. Closing it out with some terrific play. We've seen too many games slip away late. They did a great job of putting this one to bed. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. <laughs> David Thompson, two shots. Shooting two. And no good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. Hayes, he's checked in for McCray. does get the second one and that brings them within single digits and at this point in the game they need every point they can get you know he's kicking himself and not knocking all of those free throws down hey he's trying to break free and it's level missing eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. here's sunbold pass to thompson There's Brown with the three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Lovell. So Houston wins it. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. Mark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our 2K team. This is Kevin Harlan signing off. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.